I'm getting a lot of questions about millipedes lately, so let's talk about them. Millipedes look like a little worm. They have a lot of legs on them. The, the millipede has always stood for a thousand leggers. They don't actually have a thousand, but they have a lot of legs. So if it looks like a worm, uh, if it curls up, if it dies on a sidewalk, you see them curled up. They're kind of crunchy if you step on them. I know here in the Atlanta area, we've had a lot of rain lately and it's driven a lot of millipedes into the house. Millipedes will live in the mulch, in the flower beds and typically wet areas around the house. And whenever it starts raining a lot, those areas are the first ones to get saturated and wet. It drives the millipedes looking for higher ground. The opposite can be true too. If, you've go th if you're going through a drought, uh, millipedes can, can move just looking for a lower lying place that's got more moisture. Uh, when these millipedes are on the move, they'll run into the foundation of the house. They don't know how to get around it, so they crawl up it, through it, in it, any way they can. They'll invariably find their way in. A good indoor-outdoor perimeter treatment can do wonders for keeping the millipedes from coming inside your house. We have a kit called the General Pest Control Kit. It's got a concentrate, aerosol, and a bait along with some monitoring traps that you can put out to catch some of these if you want to ensure that they are indeed millipedes. Sometimes the millipedes cross these insecticides and come inside before they die. Uh, that'll stop when the extreme weather stops. Um, you'll usually slow them down though quite a bit by spraying the exterior perimeter. In some instances, you may see more than you expected. If you're seeing dozens of millipedes inside on a daily basis and they're curling up and dying on the floor, uh, you may have a millipede migration going on. Millipedes move in almost herds that are underground and when they run into a foundation, just lots of them end up coming into the house. If this is the case, it's probably a good idea to get a granular insecticide to go along with your sprays. You can spread the granules out around the foundation of the house. They can be watered in or you can allow the rain to wash it down into the ground. It'll typically go deeper into the soil to kill the millipedes underground than you can do with a spray. So a good granular insecticide is a nice tool to have in your toolbox when you're battling millipedes. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And for more video content like this, subscribe. 